David Wildstein is a liar. Finger pointing and a war of words. This after a guilty plea in the case of controversial lane closures and traffic tie-ups at the George Washington Bridge. Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. And I'm Maurice Dubois. Two of Governor Christie's former associates are now under indictment and a third has pleaded guilty in the Bridgegate scandal. CBS 2's Sonia Rincon has the latest. Were you affected by the traffic jams at all? Oh, definitely. I lived right across the street from there. I couldn't get out of my house for four days. It's of some consolation to Mike Bauer of Fort Lee that three key players are finally being held criminally responsible for the traffic jams that paralyzed this town a year and a half ago. But he thinks more people had to know, including Governor Christie. And then for him to say he didn't know about it? I don't think so. As Christie's former Port Authority appointee David Wildstein pleaded guilty and admitted to orchestrating the closures, his attorney said Christie did know. And evidence exists to establish that. Whatever the evidence is, isn't in the indictments against former Port Authority official Bill Baroni and Christie's former Deputy Chief of Staff Bridget Kelly. And Christie, who was in Virginia today, seemed to be declaring victory, or at least vindication, on Twitter, saying today's charges make it clear what I've said from day one is true. Both those charged are also proclaiming their innocence. Baroni through his attorney. No one disputes that David Wildstein is a criminal and a liar. And Kelly breaking her 16-month silence. I am not guilty of these charges. The only thing she says she's guilty of is poor taste. I deeply regret and I'm embarrassed by the content and tone of some of the emails and text messages that I exchanged. Emails like the infamous time for some traffic in Fort Lee, which Kelly did not explain. Here in Fort Lee, those who remember that traffic nightmare anxiously await an explanation. I hope the truth is uncovered. I, I, I feel like Christie is involved. Are you going to be following the trials? Absolutely. U.S. Attorney Paul Fishman says the door is still open in the investigation. Both Bill Baroni and Bridget Kelly will be in court on Monday. They can still make deals if they want to. In Fort Lee, Sonia Rincon, CBS 2 News.